You're probably seeing AI everywhere right now, and maybe you're wondering if it's actually worth the hype for your small business or your daily office work. Well, I spent the last six months diving deep into how real small businesses and everyday professionals are using AI tools, and I discovered something surprising. It's not about having the fanciest tech or the biggest budget. Here's the thing that most people are getting wrong about AI automation. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how small businesses are using AI to compete with much bigger companies and how office workers are shaving hours off their work week without sacrificing quality. We're talking real numbers, and yes, the downsides nobody talks about. Because here's what I found. Over half of U.S. small businesses are already using AI in some form, and that number has doubled in just the last year. The gap between those who get this right and those who don't is widening fast. Let's dive into what's actually working. How small businesses are using AI. Let's start with the most practical applications that are moving the needle right now. Customer service automation AI chatbots can handle up to 91% of common customer inquiries instantly. You know those repetitive questions about shipping times, return policies, and product availability. AI handles those 24-7 while you sleep. The data shows businesses cut customer support costs by up to 30% with chatbots. And here's the surprising part. Six out of 10 customers actually prefer chatbots for their instant availability. They don't care if it's AI or human, as long as their problem gets solved. The cost savings are significant enough that businesses can redirect that money into growth instead of just keeping up with support tickets. But you still handle the complex issues that need empathy and human judgment. AI just removes the repetitive grunt work. Marketing. That actually works. AI analytics tools can analyze your customer data and tell you things you'd never figure out manually. Which customers are about to churn and need a re-engagement offer? Which products have the highest profit margins? What's the optimal discount that drives sales without killing your margins? This used to require a whole marketing team. Now it's available in affordable software. Companies using AI-driven personalization are seeing up to 40% more revenue. Not 40% more efficiency, 40% more actual sales. Because A, I can spot patterns across thousands of customer interactions that you'd never notice manually. Time-saving automation. This is where AI becomes a time machine. AI scheduling assistants eliminate that endless email tennis of finding meeting times. AI accounting software scans receipts and categorizes expenses automatically. AI meeting assistants transcribe conversations and generate summaries with action items. Microsoft found their top AI users saved one full workday per month just from meeting summaries alone. If you're spending two hours a week on scheduling, two on data entry, and an hour on meeting notes, that's five hours AI could reclaim for you. And it's not just time, it's mental energy. Every minute on tedious tasks is a minute you're not thinking strategically. The pattern is clear. AI isn't replacing jobs, it's replacing the boring parts of jobs so humans can focus on work that requires creativity, strategy, and judgment. How office workers are using AI individual professionals are finding AI gives them superpowers in their daily work. Writing and communication. Starting your day with 37 emails and a report due by noon. Tools like ChatGPT or Notion AI can draft professional emails in seconds. You give it context. It produces a solid first draft. You add your personal touch and send. What took 15 minutes now takes five. About 25% of small business owners use AI for writing marketing materials. And 23% use it for drafting emails. Grammarly has evolved into an AI writing assistant that improves clarity and structure in real time. You're not replacing your writing skills, you're augmenting them. The AI handles the first draft. You bring the expertise. Meeting productivity, 
AI transcription tools like otter.a. I join your meetings and generate real-time transcripts with summaries of key decisions and action items. You can focus on the conversation instead of frantically taking notes or even catch up on meetings you missed without listening to hour-long recordings. The top 5% of AI power users on Teams save up to 12 extra workdays a year just from smarter meeting management. Research and brainstorming paste a long article into ChatGPT and ask for the main takeaways. Get it in seconds instead of spending 20 minutes reading. Ask it to brainstorm 10 marketing campaign ideas. Some will be terrible, but one or two might spark something brilliant. Nearly half of white-collar workers use AI for generating ideas or learning new things at work. The key insight here? You're not outsourcing your thinking to AI. You're using AI to think faster and explore more possibilities. Then you apply your human judgment to identify what's worth pursuing. But here's the critical caveat. AI makes mistakes. It can get facts wrong while sounding completely confident. You need to verify everything important. The AI is the research assistant, not the expert. The major benefits. Let's talk about what's actually moving the needle. Productivity gains. When customer support agents got AI assistance, their productivity increased by 14% on average. 62% of small business owners using AI reported measurable positive changes in employee productivity. AI power users save over 30 minutes a day on routine tasks, which adds up to about 38 hours a year. Cost savings. The 30% reduction in customer support costs can be redirected into growth. Less time on data entry means less money on administrative work. Better inventory management means less capital tied up in excess stock. AI enables you to scale without proportionally increasing expenses. Better customer experience, instant answers at any hour. Personalized recommendations that actually match interests. Quick issue resolution. This drives loyalty and repeat business. Companies using AI personalization can generate up to 40% more revenue because AI enables personalized attention at scale that humans alone can't deliver. Leveling the playing field. A one-person shop can now use the same sophisticated analytics that Fortune 500 companies use. 89% of small business owners report someone in their business using AI tools. You're getting strategic advice and capabilities you could never afford to hire. Better decisions. A. I analyzes sales patterns and customer behavior to predict what's coming next. One retail business saw churn drop 15% and customer lifetime value increase 10% by using AI to identify at-risk customers and send automated offers. That kind of insight used to require a data science team. Higher job satisfaction. 63% of small businesses using AI reported improved employee job satisfaction. Why? Because AI removes drudgery. People spend less time on tedious tasks and more on creative, meaningful work. And here's what contradicts the fear. 82% of small businesses using AI actually increased their workforce in the past year. They grew, which created new jobs. The real risks and downsides. There are legitimate concerns you need to understand. Over-reliance and skill erosion AI makes mistakes confidently. Testing showed AI summarizers getting key facts wrong, even misstating company names. If you blindly trust it and don't verify, you'll publish false information. And if you always let AI do something for you, your own skills atrophy. Then what happens when the tool fails? Use AI as a draft generator, not a final product generator. Stay engaged and keep your skills sharp. Quality control. Issues A. a I can produce errors at scale. An AI chatbot giving customers wrong policy information. AI generated product descriptions with subtle errors across 50 products. Without careful review processes, you create a quality control nightmare bigger than before. You need systems for reviewing AI output before it goes public and training for employees on spotting AI errors. Privacy and data security. 
When you paste confidential documents into ChatGPT to summarize them, that data goes to external servers. About 30% of small business owners don't know how to keep sensitive data safe when using AI. There have been cases of employees accidentally leaking proprietary code by using AI tools without realizing the security implications. You need to understand where your data goes, use services with strong encryption, and establish policies about what data can be fed into external AI tools. Bias and Ethical Issues AI learns from data, and if that data reflects historical biases, the AI perpetuates them. AI hiring tools discriminating against women. AI lending systems unfairly penalizing minorities. If you use AI to screen resumes or make customer decisions, it might unknowingly filter out qualified people or treat different groups unfairly in ways you didn't intend. You need human review of AI decisions in sensitive areas and regular audits for bias. Some AI systems are black boxes where even creators can't explain why they made specific choices. Job Displacement Fears 52% of U.S. workers are worried about AI's impact on jobs. 32% think AI will lead to fewer opportunities for them personally. These aren't irrational fears. If a chatbot handles 90% of inquiries, that changes staffing needs. If AI drafts marketing copy, that changes what marketing roles look like. The data shows a nuanced picture. AI is changing jobs rather than eliminating them wholesale. Businesses grow and create new jobs, just different ones. But the transition is challenging. Not everyone can easily shift from data entry to data analysis. The message, become someone who works with AI, not someone who does what AI can do. Develop judgment, creativity, emotional intelligence, and strategic thinking. Implementation challenges. Choosing the right tools requires understanding your needs and platform capabilities. Integration can be technically complex. Training takes time and effort. Many small businesses lack in-house tech expertise and are trying to figure this out while running their business. Some tools are expensive. There's a learning curve. About a quarter of small business owners say AI is too complex or time-consuming to implement. Even after implementation, tools require maintenance. Models need retraining as your business changes. If you have unrealistic expectations, you'll be disappointed. Success requires clear goals, proper implementation, ongoing adjustment, and realistic timelines. What the experts say. The expert consensus is clear. AI is transformative, but requires thoughtful implementation. IBM's CEO, Arvind Krishna, calls AI the ultimate amplifier of human intelligence, not about replacing humans, but augmenting their capabilities. Sundar Pichai called AI more profound than fire or electricity. McKinsey estimates AI could add $4.4 trillion in value to the global economy annually. But Pew Research found more than half of U.S. workers are worried about AI's role. Only 6% believe AI will create more opportunities for them personally. There's a disconnect between macro excitement and individual anxiety. The adoption numbers are striking. Only one in four small businesses used AI in 2023. By 2024, that jumped to 40 to 58 percent. The share of Americans using ChatGPT for work went from 8 to 28 percent in two years. We're watching real-time mass adoption. The World Economic Forum estimates AI will eliminate 85 million jobs globally, but create 97 million new ones by 2025. Net positive of 12 million jobs, but massive churn and transition. Companies seeing the best results invest in helping their workforce upskill alongside AI implementation. The expert takeaway, be proactive but prudent. Embrace the tools because those who do are seeing real gains. But invest in skills, establish guardrails, and maintain human judgment. The pace of AI advancement means what's true today might be outdated in six months. Your path forward. 
Here's the practical takeaway. AI automation is genuinely powerful, but it's not a magic plug-and-play solution. Success requires thoughtfulness, ongoing management, and keeping humans in control. If you're a small business owner, start strategically. Identify your biggest pain point. Customer service? Try a chatbot. Time management? Try AI scheduling? Marketing? Experiment with AI analytics. Pick one area, implement carefully, measure results, then expand. If you're an office professional, AI tools can make your work life better by handling tedious parts and giving you more time for meaningful work. But stay engaged and keep developing uniquely human skills. Use AI to draft, then add your expertise. Use AI to research, then apply your judgment. The workers who thrive will see AI as a collaborator, not a threat or a crutch. Develop emotional intelligence, strategic thinking, creative problem solving, and ethical judgment. These are areas where humans still have significant advantages. Address the cons head on. Verify AI outputs. Think through privacy and ethical implications. Help people transition and develop new skills. The downsides are manageable with the right approach. We're at an inflection point. The gap between those who effectively integrate AI and those who don't is widening. Tech-savvy small businesses using AI see higher sales and profit growth. AI reached 39% of U.S. adults in under two years much faster than internet or PC adoption. The window for early adopter advantage might be shorter than previous technology shifts. Don't be a bystander in this AI revolution. Find one way A, I could assist you and try it. Use ChatGPT to brainstorm your next project. Try an AI meeting assistant. Add a chatbot to your website. Start small, stay critical, and scale what works. Remember the cautions. Keep your judgment engaged. Verify outputs. Protect your data. Think through ethical implications. Help people around you adapt. The future of work isn't AI or humans. It's AI and humans working together. The businesses embracing that collaborative approach are pulling ahead. The workers adopting that mindset are becoming more valuable. AI is evolving fast. What I've shared today is accurate now, but six months from now, there will be new capabilities and insights. Staying informed is part of the game. Follow reputable sources and keep learning. If this video helped you understand AI automation better, hit that like button. Subscribe for more deep dives into how technology is reshaping business and work. Tell me in the comments, are you already using AI tools? What's working for you? What are you worried about? The message I wanna leave you with, don't get left behind but don't leave your judgment behind either. AI is a powerful amplifier of human capability. Used thoughtfully, it can help you work smarter, grow faster, and reclaim time for what matters most. The choice is yours. The tools are available. The opportunity is now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video where we'll dive even deeper into specific AI tools and how to implement them step by step. Until then, Work smart, stay human, and keep experimenting.